Okay, here's a little bench update on this bugger. I've had this on the shelf for some time. I took it out and had a little dabble with it. And I had um, a few issues with the plastic getting soft from washes, so I had to easy up on it from enamel washes and uh, I put it away for a bit. I got it out the other day and I carried on work on it. And that's how far I've got so far. It's a pretty complicated kit. I'd say this is probably the most complicated kit I've ever built. I mean, there's a big, thick book out of instructions. With it, the colour color, color sheet's quite um, in depth. There's a lot of colour work goes on it, and I think the most, the worst part about it is because there's a lot of, there's a hell of a lot of internal show, and you've got to paint as you build paint sections off that you're going to seal off and you see it's a pretty sprue heavy kit it's not for pussies man definitely not and just the chairs in itself with all the decal work it's quite a quite a task and you get a selection of two engines a Scania and a Leyland I've stuck the Scania in but as you can see <coughs> there she is I mean, it's still in a lot of sub components at the moment because I've just been working on the main lower deck so I can get everything closed off. And as you see, it all comes apart. I've not stuck the wheels in yet because I've got to uh, customise the wheels. I want them to be like, um, sorry, flat and worn out. As you can see, just the, just layering the, the cab getting the cab built, there's a lot of detail in the cab which you're not going to see I'm going to go in there and do a little bit more way through it because it's a thing, it's going to be an abandoned bus so I'm going to have to build it so far and weather the inside a bit I've just glued the top surface together some of the base colours as you can see I mean I did the undercarriage quite a bit back I wasn't giving it too much of an oil wash, but it was getting into these axles here, really softening the plastic. So I've had to re pin them. And, um, the engine's pretty nice. It's not weather journey, but it's got the base colours on it. A little bit more work to do on it. Because it's hard to know what's going to be visual when you've actually um, finished the model. Do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of being over cautious. I mean, it, it comes in like a, it kind of like has an inner skeleton which you build and then it kind of has like the exoskeleton of the bodywork that goes over it and I mean all these are in aluminium so it's a weird one to weather, it's going to have like a white sort of discharge over it, it? like uh, aluminium does in patches, kind of frosts like and I'll have a bit of green in it well that's basically how far I've got with the bugger as I said, she's not a straightforward build. All these I want to do flat. So I've got to cut them down, squash them down, and um, fuck them up. And then I'll put them back in place and fix them in place. But I was going to use a miniature at this, but of all the minutes I've put by it, I think the bus seems too small. I mean, it's 124th, and I've got a mix of miniatures. But I'm kind of, I'll have to wait until it's all built, because a lot of them look too big for it, even though they're right sculpted scale. It's just one of those things. Anyway, I'll keep posting as I plod along. It's just take me a bit of time, I should imagine. Um, in one way, it's pretty good. There's no fucking etched brass. It's a refreshing change. Every other kit I've had to do it seems to be full of etched brass at the moment. I need some etched brass tool, so it's quite nice that this one hasn't. For a change. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but there we go. That's what I've been up to. I'll carry on plugging away. I mean, the main thing I want to do with this is I want to graffiti because I've seen a lot of these ones nice graffiti with decals. But I actually used to spray these bloody things in the, in real life, and all the graph I've seen done on them so far is too small. You can't spray that small with a spray can. Uh, on a picture like this, you'd have one piece there, not a piece per panel. It's fucking totally impossible to spray that small with a spray can. So even though I've seen all the ones done really nice. Um, and the, the the build's nice, the graffiti spoils and for me because the graffiti's totally out of scale. Um, so I'm going to try and do it properly. It will be done in a bush yard, late night bombing run. You actually 
probably go across the whole side there. I'm used to spraying in the depots and get inside and spray the shit out the insides as well. So anyway, it's going to be an abandoned A-pop bus when it gets there. But I'm say I've only got a few, another ten pages to work through, and it should be done. So, like this, folks. <laughs>